I mind setting out that text. <laughs> I think this is finally it. Yeah. Okay, well, now we're now getting to the most anticipated match of Xeno, solely based on how much time it took to start. But let's see if Kuka can show that it was worth the wait. Yeah. Uh, and already starting off with a strong lead right here. 43%, but you see just me retaliating with his Kirby. Oh, that, yeah, that was really risky right there. And a tech chase situation right there, just adding on to more percent. And how do you think, well, it's like, what are Kirby's options against Roy? What do you think? I think Kirby has options definitely when it comes to staying low to the ground, trying to maybe like, um, Roy's, when Roy's landing, um, it's hard for him to hit small targets and such. So I think staying low, doing a lot of like dash back no. uh, pivot grabs maybe, or up tilting anti-airs on Roy's aggressive approaches is what I would feel like is something Kirby might want to go for. Yeah. But at the same time, um, Roy can do similar things counteracting as we saw uh, Kuga use that up B at shield on Kirby's landing. So it's going to be a matter of trying to get around these really, really dangerous things for Kirby. They're, we cannot afford to ever really get a close to Roy and get yeah. hit by that sword. Otherwise, yeah. it's just going to be so much percent in an early death. Yeah, and we are now, at, well, both players have now lost one stock. And we've been seeing um, Kuga go for a lot of tech chases, necessarily. Not like um, high damaging juggle situations, but putting um, just me in tech situations and just... Uh, reacting to it and trying to get damage off that. And right here, they've been really able to hold an advantage this entire stock. And because of that, Kuga just is sending here to almost get zero to death. Um, it's tech chasing is really important for uh, Kuga's playstyle. They love a lot of down tilts. They love like getting a weak fair into a tech chase. And they also love jab up air because fun fact, they don't jar. Oh, wow, yeah. I did not know that. Is there yeah. any reason to that? I think it's um I think they couldn't at first, but at this point it's just a amount of pride to not <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not sure though. <laughs> just it's like um none like used to like in melee you used to have no knee. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like some, that. somewhere Oh Kuka's just that good, but um, right now just me was able to get a good string right there and Kirby has some pretty good kill power and potentially gimping power on Roy, so yeah. We can bring this back, but right here, Kuga's oh. been able to hold ledge really well, but dropping the um, side view right there. Yeah, that's really hard to punish. It's like one to two frames to punish a neutral getup, and just being late just puts you in a, such a bad situation. So if you're not ready, you just you should let them go, but if you press their shield, then you could get punished like that. But a reversal situation right here puts Kuga in such a great situation. Yeah, Kuga's just been holding center stage really well. Kirby's lack of speed is definitely coming in to bite them here because Roy just keeps doing these dash back F tilts, fading aerials in mid stage, and even mixing in that neutral beam. Kirby's not been able to get a like neutral win in the past a bit, but yeah. there we go. Able to take the stock here, but this is gonna be really tough. And this just shows Yeah. And right there just really showed like the flaws of Kirby. Like the lack of range and speed. It's not able to like hit Roy when like it mattered. Like doing the inhale and just getting hit for the inhale, that felt that feels kind of messed up, man. Yeah, a bit of risk like I think they were just trying to get something starting with that inhale, just and totally did not respect the respawn invincibility. Yeah. And Kuga it will just pick it up with the, their staple jab up air. Um no Jair needed to take this Kirby down. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some jab up air. Jabbar. Jwer. Jwer. <laughs> Just hit him with Jwer. <laughs> Ooh, Link. Oh, Hero. A significantly better character. Um, and definitely more options to stuff out Roy. So yeah. let's see how Just Me's Link turns out. Alright, and try already doesn't have to lead from like the percent to lead, but. Let's see if he's able to find his footing with this link. Because it's just not working out as of yet. All falling up here, getting grabbed, and just me trying to get a combo off of it. Yeah, trying to read an air dodge, I believe, with that boomerang. 
but honestly, I think at this point, you want to get guaranteed damage just to get yourself in this game and stop Kuga's constant pressure. So yeah. it doesn't seem to get too much off that grab. And now at the ledge, where it seems to be the tail of the set, is just not able to get yeah. off the ledge. Really good. Oh, and the taunt. The ro Hit him with the side B Roy special with the taunt on it. Kuga going ham. Yeah, Kuga with some confidence is a threat. They... They love doing read-based gameplay, and they love going for really dangerous options. And so when they're confident in what they can land, they're going to get some stuff on you that could kill you at, like, very low percents on yeah. ledge. And I truly believe a confident player is the most scary player. Oh, I, I agree 100%. Yeah. There's just nothing that comes close to when you're feeling yourself. Yeah, okay, side B, another one. Oof. Oh, just back it some right there. Some confidence in that edge guard right there. <laughs> another taunt. Kuga just looking to run away with this. Yeah. Going ham in the paint. <laughs> down tilt, not gonna take it right there. Yeah, they've been going for a lot of down, sma down smash, check, ch down smash, tech chases, and it's uh, been working out. But right there, um, maybe just me adapting with it, rolling away, which has not been covered too much. Yeah. Finally, just choosing different options, but it might be a little too late on their last dock of the set, potentially. Yeah, Roy's not a character that you can just, like, totally stop taking damage from because of their, like, really good speed. If uh, Kuga just keeps his pressure up, it's going to be nearly impossible for Justin to close this out. Yeah. All right, grabbed him out of his nair. Wasn't able to fade back correctly. Yeah, and you see Kuga reading the neutral getup, just getting the wrong timing right there, but definitely just has a solid read on Just Me as of right now. Oh, up throw, t killing at that percent. I thought it would take a bit more, but managed to close out the first dot and just caught the jump with an up smash. Yeah, Kuga's confidence not wavering at all as he gets that um, up smash and a beautiful dash back on the roll. Kuga said, I'm sorry for making you wait so long. Let me make this set really quick. Yeah. Really, I think that was a JV3. Um, I think they didn't take any percent on their second stop. Yeah. So really great too. Kuga manages to win the round one. Little pop off right there. Yeah, classic Kuga fashion. And next we have Dark Flues versus Peepro. Yeah, Peepro. Peepro uh, seems to be a proud member of the Denim Club. Yeah, so. think, think they're actually wearing denim today?